In this demo, we will deploy and configure an Azure Firewall using the Azure Portal. In order to get this done, we need to have a few prerequisites. So a resource group needs to be uh, created, a virtual network needs to be created, and we will populate it with a couple of subnets and some machines to simulate workloads and our management machine. So let's get started. First, we click Create a Resource in the portal and in the marketplace search for resource group. Select resource group and create. We'll give it a name, so Contoso FWRG for firewall resource group. Click review and create and create to create the resource group. Once it's created we can navigate to it and click add to add the virtual network in our environment. So we we'll select virtual network, click create Give it a name, Contoso FWVN for Firewall Virtual Network. In the IP address, we'll keep the standard or the default 10.0.0.0 slash 16, and we'll add a subnet called Azure Firewall Subnet. This is actually required in order to deploy a firewall. We'll give it an address range 10.0.1.0 slash 24 and click Add. We'll click Review and Create and create our virtual network. Once it's created, we can either go to the resource group or use the notification to go directly to the resource that we've just created. So we'll go to the resource and in it, we'll create the two subnets where we're going to put our machines that will simulate our work. So first, we'll click on subnet or plus subnet and add a subnet called workload-sn, click OK. To add that, we'll add a fourth one called um, jump-sn for our jump box, click OK. Now we have all of our environments or our default network or default subnet or Azure Firewall subnet where the firewall will live, the workload subnet that is going to host all of the machine that are simulate work and our jump subnet where our management machine are going to sit. Once they're created, we can go back to the resource group and click add to add the virtual machines that we're going to uh, use to populate. So we'll give it a name, so SRV work for the work machine. We'll select Windows Server 2019 data center. Use the size that is suggested, the username and a password of our choosing. In this case, we will not expose any uh, inbound port because this is going to be taken care of by the jump box. Click next for the disks. We leave this as default. Go to networking and in networking we'll select the workload subnet where we're going to put our environment. We don't want to create a public IP addresses and now we click review and create and create. This will take a uh, about 10 to 12 minutes, so we'll speed up the video to get this done. Once it's created, we go back to the resource group and add the second machine, which is going to be our jump box. So the name is going to be SRV-Jump. We will select Windows Server 2019 as our image. The size that is suggested, the username, password of our choosing, We will keep, uh, at this point, we will actually allow selected ports with the, the uh, RDP port. And in the networking section, we will put this one on the jump subnet in our environment that's already created. Click review and create and create. And this again will take 10 to 12 minutes to create. So we've sped up the video in order to get this done quickly. Now we've created all of the resources that are needed. We need, now need to create the firewall itself. So we add button in the resource in the um, marketplace. Search for firewall. Click create. In this case, 
we're going to give it a name so test fw01 we're going to give it uh, use an existing uh, virtual network and a new public IP the firewall needs to have a public IP uh, externally facing we're not going to put any tags to this one we're going to review and click create to create the firewall itself this again takes a little bit of time we've sped up the video in order to get this done as quickly as possible one it's created we navigate back to our resource group and now we can see that we have all of our environment set up so we navigate to the firewall and we can see that we now have a firewall private IP so the internal IP of the firewall which we need to write down we'll need it later so 10.0.1.4 and we also have the firewall public IP that's already created uh, internet facing so 52.188.142.246 the next step will be performed by going to all services navigating to the networking section and in networking we need to add a route or a route table this route table is actually going to tell all of the machines in our environment to direct their traffic through the firewall so we'll call it firewall dash route in the resource group that we've pre-created so contoso fwrg click create it validates and creates that particular resource group uh, that particular routing table so we go into it and we associate it with our uh, work-sn subnet in our Contoso firewall virtual network. So the subnet is workload.sn and click OK. Now that means that all of the machine inside that subnet are going to inherit this route, sending all of the traffic based on the information in that routing table. So we'll add the route. So the first route is going to be um, route name firewall dash DG, so the default gateway. The address prefix for the route is 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 slash 0. So all traffic goes to the firewall. So the next op is going to be a virtual appliance and enhance our firewall. And the next hop address is that internal IP address that we noted uh, earlier from the firewall. Click Add Route. It adds the route to our uh, configuration. And from that moment, uh, we now have a route that's applied to the subnet uh, work-sn, workload-sn in our environment. So all machines in that environment is going to inherit that resource or that routing table now we go to the firewall so test.fw01 and in it we need to add a few routes or a few rules so we click on rules in the left menu and we will collect, uh, create a uh, application rule collection a collection is a series of rules that apply to either an application or a network environment so in this case for the application rule we'll call it app-collection01 with a priority of 200 where we allow the action and the rule is going to be for targeted uh, fully qualified domain names where we're going to uh, the name was going to be allow Google the source address from any address in our environment so from anything inside the virtual network and the subnet for HTTP and HTTPS as a protocol going to www.google.com I add this rule to our collection and the next one is I'm going to create a network rule collection and that network rule connection is going to allow um, for DNS to actually be allowed so we'll call it net dash collection 01 priority 200 and action to allow and the name is going to be allow DNS the protocol is going to be uh, UDP because DNS is a UDP protocol source address is going to be 
uh, any address in our environment. So 10.0.2.0 slash 24. So any address in our subnet going to our DNS server. So we'll put the address for the DNS servers that we're using. So 209.244.0.3 and 209.244.0.4 over port 53. We'll click add and we'll add those rules to the firewall. This can take a significant amount of time. So we'll speed up the video to get this done. So now we have our network rule collection and our application rule collection. Now we'll navigate back to our environment and we'll navigate to the network interface card of the server that's sitting in our uh, workload-sn uh, subnet. Uh, there's two ways of doing that. You can apply that to all of the virtual network. Uh, in this case, we're applying it directly to the server. And in the DNS server, we'll change that to custom and provide the DNS address uh, of the one we want to use. So 209.244.0.3 and 209.244.0.4. Click Save. It saves the information in the network interface that is connected to our uh, server. And once the network interface card configuration for DNS server is done, we can drill back to our virtual network and restart the virtual machine that is associated with that virtual uh, network interface card in order for it to now receive that new configuration. Once our box is rebooted, so the uh, SRV dash workload uh, machine where SRV dash work machine has been rebooted, so it's inherited the new DNS address that we uh, configured into the network interface card. We can RDP into our jump box and from there, we can now RDP into our workload machine that currently doesn't have any IP address outside. So this is the only way to get to it. So we'll RDP into our SRV dash work machine. Uh, open Internet Explorer. But first, let's open a command window and see what the IP address configuration is for that specific machine. So right now that Pacific machine is 10.0.2.4 uh, internal, no public IP address, which is why we needed to go through the jump box. Now let's go back to IE, so Internet Explorer that's installed by default on our server and navigate to www.google.com. We click close uh, on the warning from Internet Explorer because this is a server, so it's got the enhanced security turned on uh, by default. So we click close on those and we now have access to google.com. If we try to navigate to microsoft.com, we get an error saying that there are no rules that match this particular address, proving that our firewall is doing its job.